Richard Krause. <laughs> uh, congratulations, on thank, Chloe. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about working with Adam McGoyan. Um, he is uh, an intimidating guy. He's so smart. He's very smart. He's very smart. And the, the, the novelist Douglas Cooper has a great quote where he says, Adam is all highbrow. There's no Not middle brow. That was the New York Times, yeah. too. And they also talked about him in college, that people would sit around and talk about how to depict genocide in yeah. art. That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> because I also, thought that sounded so much like the Adam I knew, you know. Um, but he's not... He, he's but funny. He's, but he's not... Yeah. But there's nothing opaque about him. I mean, that's one of the things that I really, I really love. He's very, very smart. He's very, very funny. He's really challenged and interested in ideas. But he doesn't use them as subterfuge, you know. He's not somebody who's throwing his intelligence around just to, to intimidate people or to, or to be, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, he, it's genuine. It's, he has an active, excited, interested intelligence. And, and he's as interested in people as he is in ideas, you know. So it's about bringing all that stuff to, to life, to relationships and, and behavior. And um, I, I, I found that really exciting. Well, it, it's interesting because this film is the first one that he hasn't written yeah. himself, but it's still very much an Adam McGoyan film because oh, yeah. of the, you know, the sexual taboos, misunderstands all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, it really feels to me like a film that he could have made, you know, ten years ago or would make ten years from now. Absolutely, you know? I think really the only thing that was different, and he mentioned it several times, is that he had a linear narrative to work with, and that was unusual for him, um, and it was hard for him to. He said, even when I have anything linear in my own films, I tend to cut it up and kind of mix it up and stuff. And so this was just a different, different kind of sensibility. But not, but yeah, but emotionally, very much a, a movie of Adam's. What brought you to Chloe? He did. Yeah. Adam did. He's somebody that I'd wanted to work with for years. Um, and I'd met him at the, at the Toronto Film Festival. I don't know what movie I was up here with, but it was in the 90s at some oh. point. And I met him on a like at a press on a press line, like, you know, and said to me, there's Adam McGoy and I was like, Oh, and we just told me both that we'd like to work with each other someday and I kind of hoped that it would happen. And and then this this literally just appeared one day, you know. Do you choose uh, your projects by story, character, director? Um, or is it a good combo of all it's three? It's probably a combination of, of those. I think that I'm very I'm very material driven. Um because often, I mean, a lot of people I've worked with are first-time directors, too. So if I find a very strong script, and sometimes one that's written by the director, that I'll kind of end up, you know, being involved in that. And then, then, and then also there's just, and then just directors I've worked with before or work, whose work I've admired. Um, you know, generally they, they go hand in hand, a strong material and a strong director. It's very rare that you, you find kind of one without the other. Richard Krause.